In the bustling, golden world of the hive, every worker bee has a purpose a relentless rhythm of duty that defines her short but vital life. From the moment she chews her way out of her wax cap cell, her existence is a symphony of labor, instinct, and sacrifice. But what if we followed one worker bee, not just as a faceless drone, but as an individual with tiny, fleeting moments of uniqueness in her otherwise regimented life? Dawn, the hive awakens her name if bees had names might be Zara, a vibration humming through her wings as she stirs. The hive is already alive with the scent of honey, pollen, and pheromones. Her first task, cleaning. She scurries over hexagonal combs, scrubbing empty cells with her mandibles, preparing them for new eggs or fresh nectar. It's not glamorous, but it's essential. As she works, she notices something odd a droplet of spilled honey glistening in an unusual pattern, like a tiny golden star. For a moment, she pauses. Bees don't admire, but perhaps she registers it differently. Then instinct reclaims her, and she moves on. Midday, the first flight be her sixth day, Zara's glands mature, and she transitions to nursing. She feeds larvae with royal jelly, her antennae flickering to assess their hunger. But today, something is different. One larva twitches more than the others. Is it sick? She hesitates, then adjusts her feeding just a little more jelly. A tiny deviation from protocol. By week three, she's a forager. Her first flight is a blur of ultraviolet flowers and wind. Bees navigate by the sun, but Zara veers slightly off course, lured by a patch of lavender that smells stronger, sweeter than the others. She lands, drinks, and for a heartbeat, the world is nothing but purple and perfume. Dusk, the last deus weeks pass, her wings fray from thousands of miles flown. Her final task, guarding the hive. She stands at the entrance, antennae alert. A wasp approaches a threat. She attacks without fear, stinging it. But her barbed sting tears away, dooming her. As she drifts to the grass, her tiny body failing, she doesn't know the word sacrifice. She only knows the hive hums on without her. Yet, in her life, there were flickers of something unbe like a pause at golden honey, an extra drop of jelly, a detour to lavender, and perhaps in a world of billions, that made all the difference.